In this video, we will see how to create a BIM model for a reinforced concrete structure with a high level of detail, LOD 400. We will use Grytech Tricalc and Revit with the plugin Powerpack for Revit, also from Grytech. We are now in Tricalc and we have here a structure made of concrete. We have here the cross sections, 30 by 30, and also some loads. Let's run the automatic computation function. And here the software is computing the reinforcements for all these elements. Once the computation is done, let's see the 3D model. We have here in Tricalc this rendering function that shows all the reinforcements for this building. These reinforcements have a lot of detail. Let's zoom here and we can see the reinforcement with all the detail. Let's zoom more here. We have here some open hooks, uh, closed hooks, and these longitudinal bars uh, to connect one column to the upper one. And we have also the same level of detail for the footings. Let's zoom in one of them here. If we select only one level, we can uh, see it in, in more detail. We can rotate the view. And we have here these kind of elements to connect the footing with the column. And also all the details with the hooks for the stirrups. Let's see the complete model again. And we have two ways to export this model to Revit. Here in the file export menu, we have the possibility to export it in IFC format, but this will have some problems. And we can solve these problems with the Grytech Beam format. Let's try first with IFC format. I can save this file on the desktop, save, and I save it with the default options. If I open this IFC file in Revit, we will see some problems that we will solve later with the other format. Let's open the, the IFC file, open IFC on the desktop, this file. We have here the file. Let's get closer to this area. And we have a problem with this kind of IFC files. If I select this uh, element, for instance, it's not possible to modify it. It's like a generic element, not exactly a reinforcement. So we don't have here uh, functions in Revit to modify it. So let's export it in, in the other format. Uh, I'm here in Tricalc again, and I will use this function export Grytech Beam, and I will save the file also on the desktop. Save with the default options. If I go to Revit, I'm going to use here our Grytech Powerpack plugin. Here we have this function Beam Connect Import. And we can import the reinforcement cage for external file. OK. And I open this file. In this case, I'm going to get closer to this column. And if I select one of these bars, they are completely recognized by Revit. So we can modify the dimensions or the kind of reinforcement, the number of stirrups here. Let's suppose I change it uh, to 24 and the spacement to 75 millimeters. Also, we can modify the longitudinal bars. If I select, uh, for instance, this one, I can change its geometry. So there is a great difference between sending reinforcement from Trical to Revit via IFC files or via our plugin Powerpack. Let's see now another workflow. Let's suppose in this case, we don't have to calculate the structure, but only to create a 3D model with level of detail 400 with all the reinforcement. But the dimensions of the element of the structure and the reinforcements come from other company. In this case, we can also use Tricalc as a way to create the 3D model with the reinforcements. Let's see here in Tricalc the drawing for the columns. And uh, in this case, we will introduce in Tricalc our own reinforcements. Let's suppose this column. I can modify it with this function. I select this column and I'm going to choose the bars I want. 
let's suppose four bars, uh, 16 millimeters diameter for the corners. And also let's add two more bars in each side with diameter 12. I can save my own reinforcements in this way. We have here in this drawing and we can also define manually the footings. Let's suppose this one. I can use this function modify footings. I select this one and I choose two meters by two meters and also the diameter, the separation for the reinforcements. And I can add also upper reinforcement and I save this in the database of TreeCalc. The beams that are connected to this footing are adjusted uh, automatically. I can also change the dimensions for beams and also the reinforcements. Let's suppose I want to open this beam, this one, and I have here some reinforcement, but I'm going to choose them manually with modify main rebars, these ones. I choose, for example, five bars of diameter 12. Before I export this model to Revit, I'm going to use this function manufacturing, update the global table of manufacturing, and then I'm going to save the file export grade tech beam. I'm going to overwrite this file, overwrite, accept. And now I'm going to Revit, Powerpack, Beam Connect, Import. OK, and I choose this file. I have here the 3D model, and I'm going to check the elements that I've personalized. Uh, for instance, this is the footing, 2 by 2 meters, with its lower and upper reinforcement. And also I have here the column 31, with these elements I've uh, chosen manually. And also the beam, this is the, the beam with uh, five longitudinal bars that I've created manually in TriCalc. So TriCalc is a very good way to create a 3D model for a concrete structure. Choosing the cross sections and the dimensions for footings, beams, uh, columns, and choosing manually also the reinforcement for each element.